Hello everyone, I'm so happy to see you. I don't think so. If I welcome you in this way, you will definitely think that she's not happy to see us. And this is what happens when our body language does not coincide with our own words. So today I'm going to tell you five common body language mistakes that you might be doing in your virtual meets. And by the way, this works for offline meetings as well. But considering the present situation, I'm focusing on the virtual meets. And stay tuned till the end because you might want to find out if there's any mistake that you are doing. I want to know. And allow me to welcome you properly this time. Hello my friends, I am so happy to see you. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Shubha Joshi and this channel is all about enhancing your style, behavior and confidence. <laughs> Keeping your hands inside the chair. And why is this a mistake? Because keeping your hands inside the chair rather than keeping it on the armrest or on the table in front of you, you are making your shoulders stoop down. And researchers have proved that when your shoulders stoop down, the perception that you create on others is that you are feeling less confident. And during interviews and meetings, you don't want to show this to people that you are feeling less confident or you're feeling nervous or you're tired so this is mistake number one and you definitely want to correct it if you have been doing it so keep your hands on the table in front of you uh, keeping them parallel or in a steeple hand position or you can just simply keep it on the armrest. My first guest is a four-time Golden Globe nominated actress and a New York Times best-selling author. She's also the co-founder of a new wine brand called Aveline, which is available now. Here is my pal, Cameron Diaz. Hey! <laughs> Not looking into the camera. And yes, that's a mistake. When you don't look into the camera, then people on the other side think that you're not looking at them. And this is parallel to not having an eye contact with someone whom you're meeting offline. So what happens when you don't look at the person whom you're speaking with? You're failing to build a connect with them. And you definitely don't want this when you're doing it virtually because uh, here the chances are more that you will not look at them because it's weird looking at the camera, right? And especially when you are going through a presentation or you have plenty of people online, then you get distracted. Where, where should you look? Should, should you look at this person or should you look at the presentation? So on and so forth. So what do you do? In one of my previous videos, 10 plus tips to look great on video calls, I have given a tip to uh, focus on that camera. So what I have suggested there is that you can take a small sticky note and you can place it near the camera of your laptop so that you just focus there, there into the camera and nowhere else. Also, if you are running a presentation and uh, you want to look uh, at the main points, do that, but move your gaze immediately from your presentation to the camera. So basically, you will be talking to people, you will be explaining it to them rather than just uh, focusing on the presentation, not showing your palms. As for body language experts and Harvard Business Review, people who show their palms while talking are considered as more trustworthy and honest. Adjust your laptop in a way so that your upper body is visible with your palms open. Don't underestimate the power of showing your palms. Yeah. People do. The, the, the hard thing about the award shows is you, the whole show is predicated on the nominees. So you find out four to six weeks before the show and then you've got to kind of put the show. I didn't understand that till I got into that first meeting. And it was six weeks before and they said, right, here are the nominees and you write your opening. And I was like, uh, yeah. what's the opening? That's, no, it's up to you. you got seven or eight minutes. I'm like, ah. So I was really glad I didn't have anything else to work on. Having floppy hands. And even though my palms are visible, you will see that something is lacking here. The thing that is lacking here is the muscular tension in my hands. So gestures like an okay sign or a steeple hand or when you are doing this or you're doing this and this and this, all of this has 
some muscular tension my even my fingers are apart they're not um, stick to each other like a robot all of this includes muscular tension and it shows more confidence uh, when you're speaking to someone watch these clips that i've taken from the jimmy fallon show where you'll see that even though the interview is happening virtually the speakers show their confidence by not just showing their palms but also use the muscular tension in their hands to express themselves better the whole valley got closed down every road out was yeah. flooded it was it was like just one extreme to another and then we come out of the flood of course into this coronavirus so it's been just a series of of events you know that um you're not i want us all to be nameless one thing joined in alchemy wow uh i and the last one no smile why so serious i mean it's okay to be serious but not all the time try to smile at least at the beginning of the meeting when someone's introducing you or you are introducing yourself and towards the end of the meeting when you are thanking people and whenever you think it's necessary so try to smile because that builds a connect and also researchers have proved that people who smile are perceived as more competent courteous and likable agree with what you said yeah. i always like to really dance out onto the stage and even though there's no stage for me to dance out on I still I, want to bring that energy for you, Jimmy. I appreciate this. Now, That's all for today, guys. Do let me know in the comments below if you liked the video. And uh, if you have been making any mistakes and this was useful, just post it in there. I would love to know. And if you have any suggestions, you can also write to me or you can just post it there in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon right there. And I will see you next week. Don't forget this channel is all about enhancing your style, behavior and confidence.